triple coming up on the breach too. Does look like they're going for a little bit of an A push already. Out from the bathroom side, Wardell has the cross up, but he's not able to hit his shots. Still, you have Sobrosa with a cross up. Getting a couple shots in, but Secrets takes it back. But look at the damage done. Wardell can clean up a little bit. There's a player in U-Haul, though. Danny Steele up front. Able to get a burst on the right clicks work. TSM down to a man disadvantage. They were hoping to hold on to this U-Haul control, but LGI, they leave one late look over towards A short, and they're able to take it back. But Gus, you talked about that damage. That nade could be catastrophic as Drone clears out the U-Haul. It's back to a three on three with Thumbs trying to contest heavily now into U-Haul. That's got to be it, right? Hydro with a double. Hayes now in a 1v2. Last two players now for LGI. Lit up in a sense. Wow. Has to just get a body shot, but Snake. Sure. Things a little bit in terms of the, the frenzy, but we already saw that pop off in terms of round number one. So Bro's not spotted. Ooh evading the owl drone and wardell he's not gonna get hit by the paranoia but instead lug lumpy still gets the frag back so bro's a good trigger discipline gonna be able to get the frag back has the specter in his hands flash out wide swing nobody caught lug lumpy still with another frag back 2v2 it's cutler and Sabrosa trying to make some space trying to isolate but at this point yeah. they do have a good conservative setup it's just hydro looking over towards site they do have eyes on u-haul but looks like both players from tsm are just trying to make their way on direct Cutler with a full smoke up is a little bit scared at this point. Shock dart in. Double shock dart. Not going to be able to hit the second. Hydro has the angle. Even the recon dart going to be able to reveal the other one. Hydro! 1v2! Decent setup. Not only that, but that guy is going to help out at least with Hayes swings. That first contact with the turret won't go out, and he's going to get overwhelmed by Danny Steele, but Drone, he actually gets himself a lineup. Gets a double. Hydro Snake still fragging back. Good stuff from Snake. They're not holding across, that same spot. Not necessarily a crossfire. I mean, yeah. No, not anymore. Drone can easily swing back. Oh, if Hydro yep. could have gone the kill on a Sabrosa. And three on site. Wow. It is going to be the Hunter's Fury from Secrets. And it hits no on way. target already. The dash not going to hit. Well put on. But now Drone trying to attack. Flash shot from Tin Can. Still trying to execute. Lug Lumpy does have the cross up. Sabrosa goes down. The shock dart's not hitting. Still a showstopper onto Drone. No way. Secrets 28 HP. Then he gets the kill back. Wardell 1v4. The best thing that this man can do is save. Another knock on the doorstep with one late lurk. Uh, that turn in a weird position too, but in we go. Danny Steele already with a pick back. Wardell fishing, but not going to find anything in short. Instead now, Sabrosa still sticking around sight. Spike isn't around. They were still looking for that rotation that back. They do have a rotation cam, but even then, Sabrosa with a paranoia trying to clear up space, but Lug Lumpy takes him back. Drone sticking around in hookah, but it's only a singular man around. Wardell. Does at least get the frag back, but Secrets with a trade. 2v2 plant will be able to go down. Oh, look at this early advantage as well. Up in top of heaven. Cutler, I think, has read it, though. He realized he heard the sound. Q, what? but he gets nothing from it. Oh. Huge fluff from Cutler and Drone left in a clutch. This is immaculate from LGI. They set up a fake off of the cabbages, off of the Seekers. Apologies, and double fake back to B to draw the Seekers away. And then okay. they come back to A. This is so smart. And now they've got an advantage. Oh, I was about to say, they have no idea he's here, but that's wonderful. Drone now in a 1v2. They already have the info that he's on site. Just has to stick it a little bit. Going to be able to go down to half. He might stick it all the way. Now, there you go. But there goes the swing from the back. Drone still has a showstopper. Two players around. Double swing in secret. Has a 3k extremely well you split this defense where you now have a more advantageous position they're looking for the 2v2 and now it's a 2v1 here on the a site gust spike can go down relatively freely here of drone mm. had not gone for this swing tsm up the eco will finally be able to net themselves a second round and lgi they gotta stay alive after time here drone's still looking for blood they're ready for it if it comes i know oh, but exactly cutler gonna peek out a little bit early on but no, still hydro, hydro. Okay, still gonna win the battle against Drone. In comes Hayes, but Hydro wins it again. How is Hydro the one to win that out? Lockdown goes down to the Hunter's Fury. Lug Lumpy overwhelms Sabros off the peak. Wardell now in a 1v4. Can take it frag by frag. Let's see what happens. Plant still hasn't gone down, but it's about to. Wardell he is gonna attempt this. The rest of his team's cash purely in shambles. Timing off of an elbow peak could be pivotal. Close. 
Wardell doesn't know it, but that was close. Again, just here to take Octagon. LGI have a really good setup. Wardell misses the shot. Cutler's there to pick things up, but trades go back, and LGI is storming the site now, but TSM are putting up one heck of a fight so far. Oh, and it's Wardell holding things down, too. Good old double. They're going to have to commit a whole lot here, and Wardell will be paranoid off the angle, and the exit comes in. Danny Steele in the back, but LGI are starting to fall apart at the seams as the push has been canceled already. Snake still getting pressured out. Drone gets spot. Not only that, but you mentioned the Seeker Sully. Still one going over towards the bathrooms area. Snake is still around. Hydro, same thing. Over in short, still trying to fight. They still have the trips in mid. So it's key that they keep as many players left. alive. You let LGI get away with these guns, but at least you hold on to four. That's the big thing. The risk and the reward, maybe not too worth it. I suppose, uh, well, Ooh. there's the risk, and now you've been punished for it. But the Rolling Thunder actually used. That's a bold strategy, to say the least, but with 17 seconds. seconds left, certainly running out of time. They're going to burst out. There's already three players for TSM around. Secret Dust takes one back. Cutler looking for another one. Barely any time, but they're still going to be able to get the bomb plant down. And not only that, but Wardell on his way back. 150 dashes into Tin Can. There's one in Cubby. No going to be able to get the first. Not only that, but a player over towards Long. He's still searching. Has the off for the cross up. Doesn't get the kill. 75 HP left. Still could try to find that second one. But Hunter's got Hunter spearing out Sully. Oh, but Wardell's already off. He's delaying so much time now, but it's already canceled. Good move! Secrets! This is what they did earlier. TSM. They've been having decent short potential, but they never ever actually committed to it like still going for it and wardell still gets a kill back and there you go so bros a cheeky position it's gonna be cheesy strats like that that could certainly at least take the edge over a team like lgi maybe pugging out a couple of these rounds all drone they don't know that drones even in this position right now and surprisingly they're thinking of backing away here the spike it will go down drone in the middle of tin can now back up for the default plant. Big fight from Hydro, though. That comes up big for them. He doesn't have a cam for this retake just yet. Oh, Snake. That's charging up. And Snake could get a big timing on Haze, but kills. They're going all the way around. Now, Haze, he has found the first in the 1v4, but they're already stuck. Like, this round is already over. Nothing you can do there if you're Haze. Interested in this bounce from Secret. It actually does have a Bulldog. It's a little bit better than expected. Let's see where it goes. Oh. Yeah, really decent angle, but they were ready for it. Still some Rosa around. Oh. Gonna be able to line up. That's wonderful. Could be able to get a third. Lung Lumpy just doesn't care. <laughs> just runs on through. At least the Hound trying to get a little bit of information. Nothing in the back. LGI going for a full retake against TSM. I mean, if there is anything to dictate the pace of the rest of this game, it has to be this. In we go. Danny Steele is about to say he has to be pivotal in terms of those first frags, but again, he just falls to Wardell. Not only that, but the crossfire is immaculate over in this area. Cutler going to be able to get a second... And I like the idea as well from, or you realize now that TSM in that position, he's always kept back by his utility and oh. secrets. Hunter Siri now charged up off the kill. He gets onto Sabrosa. And that's where that split comes in because players were so out of position. They've now got to take 1v1s. Wardell's still in the back. You have Hayes holding and Wardell's got to go big. And now it's on to Hayes. One versus two. He's got the first. Nanostorm onto the there spike as well. That's now it. that's enough time. Nothing secrets can do, but TSM, they cut things way way too close the positioning that Hayes had to commit to he had to wait for his alarm bot to go off instead of completely fighting still a couple players over towards hookah lug lumpy in a good position but i think his smoke positioning his smoke lineup actually ended up exposing it but no they didn't they don't even pay attention to it secrets is here with a double tsm down to a man disadvantage spike out in the open but they're not exactly watching over it they've abandoned the site and they're playing a little bit at least more towards the back yeah and all those heads swivel as soon as lug lumpy makes that contact Two heads swing to his position, and Secrets chooses the perfect moment to swing, and Danny Steele does oh. end up going down. It's a 1v2 here on the B site. Oh, first contact. And taking up good stuff from Wardell. Definitely been a kill conversion, but he's on top. A tin can, still able to get one. Secrets had to have really good timing, but Secrets, so unfortunate. Wanted to blow up that Nano Swarm, still trying to find the frag. And, oh, there you go, hazed. Okay. Awkward. 
awkward positioning now at least for a couple of players from LGI, but they're at least playing these positions with the SMG pretty optimally. One in the back. Okay, it's not actually the SMG snake. As the sheriff ready and rearing to go, takes down drone. Still the rotation from LGI going actually full from the defensive side and the seekers. They know all. Hydro still able to get one back onto Sabrosa. Good angle from Cutler. He's going to get paranoia out. Same thing with Wardell. In comes Hydro. He isolates the 1v1. And okay, in we go again. Nano Swarm. Hydro needed it. Still has to blow up the turret. He's trying to find a headshot angle. Yet another Nano Swarm. And it's going to blow up in a perfect spot. What is up with Haze and these Nano Swarms? Being perfect off post plans time and time again. And now Hydro no falling to the jump peak of Haze. Point still pivoting around that U-Haul area. Hydro, there's nobody actually watching his cross over there. But he actually wants to fight for control of sight. At least the cross up player in green box hasn't peeked out yet. Sabrosa, he's got to go, and there he is. He pops out onto Hydro, but secrets that recon bolt actually drags Sabrosa away from his safe position. And now, rolling thunder in the back. They get to go corner. for a cheeky defuse, but no, you gotta check that. Lug Lumpy not able to get a defuse on in time. Potentially a little bit more damage could have been done, but at least their goal now, just getting a trade back and getting all the bodies over towards the A site. Now they're here, now they're ready to fight. Drone putting a lot of pressure. This is the normal TSM take. Put up a lot of focus on the left side. Let Drone try and run it up here. And Drone, he's found himself a nice spot perched on top of the double box. The fault line does end up connecting. That's where that utility can be so versatile. It has infinite verticality. And now Drone though, they think that he's off that position, but Drone doesn't move. A stone statue up top. And now with three versus two, as Drone will get cut down. Hydro's Whoa. been big all series long. And now they've got a chance in a 2v2. So Sabrosa playing very aggressive off the post plant and secrets. He would only really realistically have one opportunity for a kill onto Sabrosa, but he goes back. And look at his push already. It's him versus Sabrosa. The flash doesn't connect, and Sabrosa's got the free frag. Oh, that wall too. I've actually been missed out a little bit. Oh, I think God. that's just a fake. <laughs> so I think the wall is uh, just a, to, is a right, sound right, right. so you can just slip on through. Oh, for sure. You definitely wanted to get up at least that control. I mean, definitely might have worked out. Especially if Sabrosa wasn't ready for it. But, um, well, it doesn't. It is what it is. LGI now. One person remaining. It's going to be Hydro now on a 1v5. And he might fight this one out. A little bit better of a position. LGI grouping up three over towards the back flank. But nobody from TSM is actually playing that off the post plant. Oh my god, what? This one up. Yep, 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 yep. There you go. Okay, trigger discipline. But then again, LGI. Most of their bodies coming out from the very center of sight. Lug Lumpy gonna be able to get one on. Still Haze right in the middle of the smoke with a paranoia too, but he's nearsighted. Snake could have stuck it, but Secret still gonna be able to get the frag back. So Broza now. Paranoia, but Secret gets it back. Oh, again, Snake could have actually won that round up. Hold off. Danny Steele sitting around the corner. He's going to try and bait his teammates. Can he get one here? It's Drone. Trade back. Danny Steele needs to get out of there. There's not much he can do else. There are two more players awaiting. He can bolt not going to get any more info. He's playing the knowledge game, and he's got so much of it. Danny Steele with a huge second frag. But Wardell already on the flank with no mid control. It's Hydra that needs to bail his teammate out. But even then, two versus two. Lockdown for the post plan if they want to. And it's LGI here that have the HP advantage. And Hydra with the positional advantage. Ooh. Yeah, I think that's just the smart move, right? Just maintain things fairly safe. LGI's economy still isn't the best either, but what? Secrets. The timing on this could be huge, but Wardell has the angle. Good coverage. Your drone. Maybe you can shut it down. Back turn. There's one. There's two. No. Only Whoa. just a single frag. But they know where two players are. And they know where the breach is most importantly. But he gets what? shut down. Wardell can't win the fight. It's Sabrosa in the back lines and the A site completely open. But there's one player watching that one. There's one player that can cut things down. And it's Cutler that's got to make a risky move on over. Oh, there it is. Essentially dry. 
Trying to make his way forward, but again, Saborosa, in we go. Has a little bit of a lineup, gets himself two. Has a third opportunity up in the kitchen area, but it's Snake back to get the frag. Huge setup for LGI and TSM are banking on that utility. The Nanostorm's on the site. They're going to spot the first. The Nanostorm does go off, so that's not going to keep them off it Hunter for too Spear long. Too. LGI can tag this whenever they want. You're right, Hunter Spear didn't even realize where's that Rolling Thunder coming. Not just yet. The tag goes in, and it's down to just one. This is such an unfortunate position if you're a snake you can get out with one maybe if he's oh. lucky suppose so is slipping on through the smoke is about a fade here but he's gonna try and take this fight off a no flash so dry from tsm sub rosa and sub rosa doubling down now look what that's done danny seal's got to stick around on the reset in case sub rosa still wants to cut off rotations but snake is fighting back and same thing with hydro it's a three versus three and tsm may be thinking better of the a bomb site now Placing swarm grenade. Swarm grenade out. is that same decent setup, but Haze already have fun trying to fight, but of course, that trip actually opens him up. Snake, using that timing, going to be able to get the frag back. But now, okay, this this is where things really start to get weird. Look where Danny is at the moment. Yeah. Early over in B main, off this post plan, I think they are just trying to take up more of kitchen control, which, again, totally evades Danny steel. But they have to fight Hydro here, and they just missed out on a whole, whole got no bunch idea, of though. control. Zero idea. Look at his post plant. Sabrosa, he's got the, the gateway as well. And the fact that Snake doesn't even catch nah. him off, Sabrosa could win this, but the smoke already on but so much time being bought off the op watching as well he's trying to fake them out now he's gonna make the jump he's got one he could win this one out two players and one is on low hp one's got the oh. up out comes a classic with sub rosa oh, he also saw him too and he's got the angle at a boy lug oh snake takes one back two three the four for the boys at tsm Good lineup at least, but drones, he's not worried at all. But now he is. The Rolling Thunder comes in huge. Lug Lumpy takes him back. Couple of players in the back of sight. You do have a little bit of util. The lockdown going out at a perfect time. But Cuddler with the one-two combo. And the lockdown is going to take down Hydro now. Oh, boy. Look how much HP Lug has, man. It's, it's just ridiculous. A 4v2. TSM, the way they've been playing, it might just be a 10th, and they're going for a fast play into the A site. Wardell with one Hydro on the trade, but what can he do more with just a Marshall? There's the blast pack drone clearing out the site. Is going to get the kill. Another one drops as Sabrosa finds Lumpy, and it's down to just two. Secrets has a revive, but that's even if he can get to a body. Spike planted. All those corpses are strewn throughout that A main area. Can't exactly make his way through. He has to make his way through through brute force, but oh, Sabrosa. Or drone makes this rotation. Sabrosa primed with a paranoia, but there's one flashpoint back already. There's the swing, but only one kill exchange for both sides. As Lug Lumpy actually favors the odds back to LGI now. Okay, decent from Lug Sabrosa. Look at that spike. That is in such a nerf position frenzy, to but. It's, it's so awkward it's on top of tube too almost nobody can get to it at this point hydro does take down sabrosa again 2v2 somehow trying to get to it they did not need to updraft there but he could be the guardian for the rest of this round any sort of exits would be so optimal but he's actually running doesn't even want to clear sight both players are still here danny Steele now going for a little bit cheekier of a post plant position trying to fight this immediately in mid only 20 HP left on the man. And he hears both. Oh, there you go. Line up for Danny Steele. Easy. Let's get it, LGI. So you so can get forward. He will get the ult orb. And that Bucky from Mordell. It wasn't able to do much in the first map. And it can't do much here as well. So he's shut down. Drone's still in a smoke. They've got all the info in the world. And Drone has found one through a smoke. Three versus three. And rotation coming in from Hayes to at least give him the numbers. To at least battle against LGI now. Stealing sight. Uh, paranoia, malplaced, but it's at Ooh. least going to clear out a big angle. And not only that, but double coverage of that same spot. Cutler still goes down, but Drone still holding it down. Nano Swarm 2, it evades that default position. And Drone with yet another one. Hydro now 1v2. Winnable to say the least with a Spectre. 
As long as this isn't a crossfire. No, it isn't. That's a card clear this angle. Indeed, he dies. But drone again. Barely with enough time to really kind of regain control. Good smoke over towards the left side. But that does give a little bit more space for these players to actually pop out. But they're not going for it. They're going to go for a full retake, Sully. Oh, Danny Steele revealed oh, that recon no. vault again. Huge play off of it. Sabrosa, or apologies, Wardell was hoping to get something off of his body, but nothing there for him. Now, TSM, though, despite already Danny Seal going down, they've got really good post plant positions here, LGI. But as I say, that Haze comes in swinging. It doesn't matter what post plant positions you've got. If you don't have the guns, it's not going to work. But Lug Lumpy to the rescue. What Two is me? Big kills and nearly another. He's got the showstopper, but now LG, I have a revive. Ooh. Lug Lumpy, but there goes that revive like you mentioned. But oh, that showstopper, such a perfect spot. And Drone is still fragging. Getting a third onto Secrets, but good spot from Danny Steele. Again, because of that revive. Less rotations. And it's not only time. that, but Chunky off so much time. 10 seconds, 8 seconds. No, it, it, they just don't have time. They just don't. They have to get the spike down in this smoke. But it's over, folks. Let's get it. LGI. They put up their best efforts against one of the better teams in NA. But TSM, they're still able to eke away a 2-0 win.